my special Hollywood's birthday tomorrow, 42 years old, two hours in, FBI material, emails, we're going to close you off with a, another FBI segment with reports, then we're going to recap the show, and we'll talk to you in December, so folks, are you ready? Hollywood, how you feeling, bro? How you feeling, man? Oh, man, I'm just, hey, I'm just trying to get over these FUIs, dog, man, look, that, that, uh, that last, the, the email section is always pretty excruciating. <laughs> exactly. But that one right there, that was a rough one, man. I, like, I, I don't know, I don't know what these guys are thinking. Or, I just don't know, I just, you know what, I, I, I just figured that on my birthday that they would send, like, easier emails and, and you know, show show uh, less signs of abject illiteracy, but I guess not. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what our FUIs do, and, and I, I, I mean, I guess there's just, I mean, not even for my birthday, is there going to be any mercy as far as the FUIs go, do? Yeah, like so. they were like worse than you. Like they were like way over the top, terrible. They were ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Just flat out. And a lot of them, I mean, they were just totally indecipherable. And after, I mean, out of all of those, we actually had one that was actually readable. And that's, that's pretty amazing. You know, seeing as, as our FUIs, I mean, that listen to the show, thank you for listening to the show, but your FUIs nonetheless. Exactly. Okay, so, hey. Uh, what's this? Uh, Charles Oakley sues James Dolan in Madison, uh, in Madison Square Garden over an incident? Yeah. I'm trying to figure this out. Yeah, last year. Okay. Last, yeah, last year. They, uh, so Oakley's in the building and one of them escorted wasn't going. He put them hands on the Kim security guards and he felt embarrassed. He copped him a plea deal. I saw that. But now he's suing the garden for his embarrassment. Right, I saw that. And, and, and I'm going to tell you straight up. Charles Oakley was beating the hell out of them dudes. He was slipping them dudes every which way. I saw the video. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I guess uh, from NBC Sports, it says the lawsuit details how Oakley was treated before and after he was forcefully removed from Madison Square Garden during a February 8th game. Okay, the lawsuit filed Tuesday. It, it seeks unspecified damages. The Knicks spokesman did not immediately comment. The law says the lawsuit says Knicks owner James Dolan constantly disrespected Oakley, refusing to make eye, tap, eye contact or shake his hand during meetings and to make him pay for his own tickets to games. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, do you have any idea what the beef could, po- could quite possibly be? Because Charles Oakley just keeps, when the Knicks suck, he calls it how he sees it. He's not a lap dog. He's not a kiss ass. So he tells it, hey, the Knicks suck right now. And don't, don't like oh. that. I guess not. Man. Go stand the court. Man, oh man. Look at him, bro got this over here. Georgia robber is arrested after throwing hot coffee on armored truck courier, stealing money bag, and fleeing to Chuck E. Cheese to throw son a birthday party. Wait. He threw some hot coffee on the on the what on the drive? Yes. Then he goes to Chuck E. Cheese to make it rain. Yes. Throw this on a birthday party. Yeah, that's that's I mean, where's this guy from? Georgia. Yeah, I, I can do it. Sounds about right. Well, it gets worse, as always on the report of here. Florida of man arrested after performing sexual acts on himself in public at Publix on the Jello Isle. Oh my God! Of all hours in the world, in the world to be in, 
small aisles in the store to be in, and he's at a Publix. Exactly. And he's skeet deep, deep all on the jello aisle. Man alive. That, oh, it's... Dude, that, that's why. <laughs> exactly. Why? It's it's amazing this page of material I have in front of me of this, how ridiculous we go through it. You're going to listen to me. How screwed up these people are. And I don't understand why you do that in Publix, at Publix, on the Jello Isle, but I don't know what's getting you off. Is it like the, the powdery French vanilla Jello or the gelatin? What's getting you off on the Jello Isle? Like, my man, what is firing you off like that? Dude, I don't even want to know. You know. Like, I don't even want to know. <laughs> it's like, for real? And yeah, he, can, he can keep it. Look, he can keep his reason. Exactly. You understand? Know Just please Dude. get out of here. And here we go. A theme of the show hard drugs. New York oh, dealers God. try to smuggle crystal meth inside of, get this, penis shaped candles to quote erotic fi the drug game that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard <laughs> they, they had to I mean they had to know that they were going to get caught exactly like who were they sending this stuff to Exactly. Like, come on. You can't. You, the, the post office is up on the drug game. It's harder to smuggle via the mail than it used to be. Yes, exactly. That's, that's they exactly they right. scan that stuff now. The USPS have scanners now in, in, the, in the bins. They run through a scanner before they put it on the trucks now. Right. And just the fact that they would look at that thing and find penis shaped candles, that by itself is suspect. Exactly. That by itself is suspect. So of course they're gonna check it out. Like for real. Like if bro, but look, but look where's that? New York. Who's from New York, bro? Oh my God! Hell. Who is from New York? Who used to run those streets up there before they got traded to Cleveland? I'm just saying. <laughs> Right. I'm just saying. I'm just making light of the situation. Like, who we used to run New York streets? I'm just saying. You already know. The number one dude. The statement player. <laughs> dude. I, 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 I don't even... I mean, what? I, what is the thought process behind that? Somebody please. Somebody please tell me. Send us an email. You understand? Tell me what the thought process is behind that. Exactly. How is that going to be good? Dude. It just means Whatever. more FBI reports for us. Pretty much. I mean, like, we'll have right. a lot of stuff come December. That's, that's all it means. Dude. Like, for real? you giving this guy carte blanche to be like the head honcho, like the, the dude with the point man. Like, right. That just bothers me on so many levels. <laughs> this guy's giving Carl Blanc to be like the, the point man, the team spokesman. Oh my God. Just the thought of that makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> Think about this. The kids in Cleveland are going to be FUIs now. They're destined to it. You understand? And then, could you, like, can you imagine, like, the promotionals and the ratchetness that are going to come with that. <laughs> oh my God, yes. They're going to be, dude, it's going to be like a bucket of chicken, a jail cell, and KFC. <laughs> exactly. It's going to be a pipes video. Bad. Dude. <laughs> like those tag team cusses and what's with the business videos. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. Don't be that bad. Dude, I don't even... 
Let me just think. I, I don't even want to think about that right there. <laughs> Bro, if I told I mean, you that those still are highest rated shows, those two shows, that pipe special, would that make your stomach churn? You know those are two highest rated shows oh my ever? God. <laughs> I'm queasy now. I mean, uh, I mean, we just, for the most part, we just told it like it was, man. But, oh, uh, oh, I mean. The, the foolishness was just unreal. Like, and I was looking at it like, like, man, dude, I mean, we got another hour. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got a, we got a whole another hour, you know what I'm saying, to talk about these knuckleheads. I mean, <laughs> it was unreal. And that video, dude, man, look, there was, there's quite possibly nothing that was more low budget in that video. With a shiny suit, dude. Come on, man. Exactly. It was god awful. God Yeah, awful. it was awful. It was another level of just ridiculousness. Look, man. It's that was some classic stuff and this remember we had we just discussed this two years ago. This is a two years ago discussion. Why here watch this. Florida man is arrested after causing a hundred thousand dollars in damage to a Walmart liquor store under construction with a hot wired forklift. So, <laughs> excuse me. Let me get this straight. Dude, hot wires forklift and totally destroys <laughs> the liquor section at the Walmart. Yeah, but no, this is the separate. Remember that's the separate store there. This is the Walmart liquor store. Oh, the separate store. That's right. Remember two years that. ago. That's right. That's right. Oh my goodness. And did, I remember you sent me a picture. Mm-hmm. Walmart freaking list. And I could almost imagine he was getting loaded on the way to his uh to wherever he was going. Mm-hmm. Totally and totally destroyed it, huh? Totally destroyed it, yes he did. But he had, but he, he tried to get away with it and get this a 24 pack of great value wine. Oh, no wonder. He was going to get more. <laughs> That's all that was. He was just going to get more. He's, we need some more wine. <laughs> it just went ham. He just went for his. Totally destroyed the area. Yeah. Yes, hot wiring. F- uh, FUI to the heart, dude. Really hot wiring a forklift. <laughs> now, yeah, I don't know. I mean, where I, you know, where I work, you understand. We usually keep the keys in the forklift. Like, you really had to do that. Man. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Well, but that that that's sick. Well, this is sick too. Unlucky, New Mexico punk tries to jack three football players eating gyros in the mall food court and gets his face beat into an emoji after being put through a table in the food court. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. say that again. Okay, unlucky, New Mexico punk tries to jack three football players eating gyros in the mall food court. Gets his face beat into an emoji after being put through a table in the food court. They said he gets his feet, he get, he got his face beat into an emoji. Yes. After being put through a damn table. Like the Dudley boys. Oh my god. Devon! Hit the tables! <laughs> oh god! Oh my brother, testify! Testify! My Dude, are you brother. serious? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got an even better question. Like, how did they find out they was eating gyro? <laughs> maybe a witness said something about it. Doing this. Maybe the witness gave a statement that they was eating gyros. The dude tried to mess with them, like, put to the table. I don't know, but they, I mean, for them to even add that to the uh, to the report, I mean, those those, I mean, the food must have been good. <laughs> exactly. the gyros must have been good. They was eating some gyros. It was mighty tasty. And the guy came and tried to rob them. Like, what? I don't know, man. I don't know. 
But uh, he got beat up. If he got his face beaten to an emotion. I'll be able to put through that table too. Can't forget how they after they people to the emoji, I'll be put through the table. They put him that table first. <laughs> oh, so they put him through the table first. Yes. So he really got beat. Like he was in, he wasn't even in no condition to defend himself after that. So sure was it. Dude. He got beat. I mean Dudley Boy beat. And that's getting beat up. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Like, really getting beat up. Yes, indeed. Unbelievable. And we have this, bro. Unbelievable. Florida woman is arrested after admitting to still didn't get this, still in the county's exotic dancer fees because her husband spends too much time at Home Depot in, in, the, in a naked rant she gave on Facebook Live. Okay, uh, side eye alert. <laughs> okay, okay. She. <laughs> oh, God. Because her husband spends too much time at Home Depot? Yes, so she stole the county's his eye dancer fees doing a naked rant on Facebook Live. Okay. Oh my God. Oh man. I've lost all hope. <laughs> like I've lost all hope. Like that one pretty much she stole the county's exotic dancer feet. Yes. Because her husband spends too much time at Home Depot and she did this and talked about it naked. On a rant on Facebook Live. Yes. Like, this is actually something that the people want to see. And I'm pretty sure we have FUIs out there who would have grimaced at the thought. Well, we have some on live stream saying we have video of it. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to see any video like that, man. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, nightmares are real. You understand? And I don't want to, you know... Dude. And I had a... Oh, man. I had a good meal. I don't feel like putting it all over my floor. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Look, y'all, keep the video. Keep all that crap because, look, I'm not, I, I, I can't do that. I can't do it today. Exactly. And, dude. bro, look at this. We have a... Uh, our no, man no. is arrested... After allegedly trying to deposit a fake one million dollar bill, so a fake a million dollar bill gets arrested on meth charges after expose his package to tell us in quote, can, "I can deposit this in you if you like." Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, did he get arrested? He did. Oh my god! And with good purpose because that dude right there is out of line. Did you say a one million dollar bill? It's a fake one, yes. Right, a fake one. He got from Toys R Us, it says. You can't be serious. <laughs> he got it from Toys R Us. And then, if I'm not mistaken, he exposed his junk? Yes, tell her tell, tell that he can deposit this in her if she wants. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god On all dude, levels that's, messed up Dude that was crazier than the last story <laughs> Like I can see that Like you just yeah, You have to deposit the deck If you really want to change Like what the What the hell are you doing That's crack That's the Krenak Yeah I got that's, Krenak That's just what that is Dude, that's just what that is. That's crack. You know what I'm saying? Or meth or that flacco. I mean, just name something. Like, really? And you get a rest to do? Mm-hmm. They're going to give you one million poundings when you get to the joint. Uh-huh. Man. Dude. This is going to take you another step, brother. Oh, God, stripper arrested 
after stabbing customer in both eyes and jamming a piece of wood down his throat due to bad breath, body odor, and repeated farting. And repeated farting? <laughs> yes. So, what, I mean, was she angry? I mean, like, what the hell? Like, all that? Like, yeah. I mean, I'm sure. Uh, well, I mean, look. <sighs> Let's 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 play the game. I mean, I'm sure exotic dancers come in contact with stinky, sweaty dudes, grubby hands all day, every day. But this one just—I mean, the worst luck you could possibly have. And he got stabbed in his eye, so he couldn't even. I mean, like, you can't even see yourself getting killed. <laughs> You can't even have that one last and final thought of seeing some boobs in your face or something like that. Like, she took you out, stabbed you in your eyes, and then put some, put a piece of wood down his throat. Mm-hmm. Where did she get the wood from? A chair. She, she was prepared. She, she broke it off a chair. Darn. Like, for real? Oh, incredible. Hulk. What kind of exotic dance has she seen? <laughs> Ain't stronger and bigger than him. <laughs> what the hell? Like, since when does stuff like that happen at the club? Exactly. They got She Hulk exotic dancing up in there, ripping chairs to shreds and tearing, tearing apart telephone books. <laughs> it's just the craziest thing ever. Like, dude. I don't know, man. And, and we're not, and we're not done, we, folks. We got some more reports here coming to you shortly, like right here. Florida oh, man is arrested after filling out job application form in gas station, then immediately proceeding to rob the place, strip naked, and pee on the floor. Okay, so he goes into the gas station, fills out an application, and shows his appreciation and his uh. You know, and how eager he is to actually get this job, right? By robbing the place, butt naked, mm-hmm. and pulling off an R. Kelly on the floor. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he's going to get the job. <laughs> That's, re- I mean, he, they're going to hire him on the spot. Like, that, that, what kind of, what the... I don't understand what's going on with these people. Like, where, where was he at again? Where's that? A Florida racetrack. A lot of stuff coming out of Florida. Florida, you know what? You're about to become <laughs> FUI Central. And you know what? It's a shame because after all the care and concern of people in Florida, you know, after these hurricanes and stuff, we got to hear something like this. <laughs> exactly. Right from you all's neck of the woods. After the hurricane you know, happened. Man, these are all post-hurricane stories. This is crazy. Like, I'm just saying, like, this is this is crazy. You understand? I mean, like, what the hell? What is going on in Florida? What is in the water? Exactly. I don't know, man. Well, I don't know. We're in North Carolina now. Oh. North Carolina oh, no. is arrested after confronting steak and shake worker who allegedly stole her debit card info by sparing her once her shift ended a la Bill Goldberg. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. He's speared. <laughs> Wait a minute. Dude, just, oh wait, just just for the sake of, just read that one more time, okay. dude, please. North Carolina woman is arrested after confronting steak and shake worker who allegedly stole her debit card info by spearing her once her shift ended a la Bill Goldberg. Dude, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> I wonder, I mean, like, I wonder, did she make, did she do the jump in the facial expressions with the, ah! Did she do all that too? She did and poured baby oil and poured old shampoo and conditioner on her. 
Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm not. I wish I was. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, just when you think you can't get any work. <laughs> Like, I mean, I mean, I mean, at least you told me, at least you won. Yeah, it's, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's about to get I, even worse for dude, it. Dude, I'm on a, about to get worse. Can we go to Florida again? Dude, I'm on a, oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. Florida man is arrested after performing sex act on a female companion in the middle of families gathered on Clearwater Beach for a beach volleyball tournament. Well, actually, that, I mean, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. And it's back in Florida. You already know that. Because if that's anything indicative of what I went through when I went to uh, the Black College Weekend in Daytona, I'm talking about what they were doing on the volleyball, you know, where the volleyball area was, where the pool area was, and just in the hotel at that, you know, that's, that's not shocking. That was an FUI and extravaganza I will never forget. Well, and I mean never. Well, this, you may never forget this story right here, bro. This is Florida and it's worse. Florida man arrested after trying to disguise himself as the sun. I repeat, disguise himself as the sun to escape the police after robbing a house. What? Yes. Disguised as the sun. Disguise himself as the sun. Dude, man. Oh my god. That is the worst. Let me tell you something, man. Right about now my birthday is looking a little darker. Because that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Why are Dude, I'm just trying to... Why are all these stories coming out of Florida? Exactly. I don't understand what's going on out there. I think that was the last one from Florida. The rest of them are non-Florida stories. Thank God. Mercifully. Dude, Florida... Oh, my God. Like, it, it, Florida's <laughs> becoming F, just F.U.R. Central. Like, that was a lot of stories out of out of Florida and I just don't understand what the hell is going on out there after the hurricane like why are you wild a hurricane happened why are you wilding out down there like why are y'all tripping that's what I'm saying y'all should be trying to rebuild if anything man but y'all acting they acting up they doing something man they I don't know man they on smoking that incense or something like that bro well try this Metro Atlanta man is arrested on DUI charges after his Astro van crashes into Moe's Southwest Grill doing a nine vehicle wreck while he was getting topped off by two Instagram models. Oh, wow. Hey, man. I mean, I mean, oh, my God. I guess it was all good until the until the crash. To Instagram models, that sounds like good news. But, as we all know, a FUI is always going to ruin good things. Exactly. Always. You know, we had FUIs trying to ruin the good thing that we had, and guess what? We are here, they're not. You understand? That's just the fact. Exactly. There's always an FUI trying to ruin a good thing. Now, this dude is getting popped off by two Instagram models. Good enough. You understand? But he crashes the whip while getting it. And you said it was like, what, a nine-car pileup? Yes. Unbelievable. That is the craziest thing ever. Well, try this. What's next? New Jersey man arrested after kidnapping a zoo monkey telling stupid lies and trying to use leashed zoo monkey to gain free access to the swingers club that night. He used a monkey to try to get into the damn swingers club. Yes. Who the hell does that? Exactly. How, what, what? So because you have a monkey, what, did he say it was on a, did you say it was on a leash? Yes. And that's going to gain you some access to the club? 
Well, did they let him in? Until the monkey ate little men, but they said, you gonna pay? No, you can't just monkey. Oh, my God. Dude, look. Uh, you know what got, you know what got the man booty eventually when the monkey got loose and bit the pole? And the, and the pole collapsed. It was a pole collapse. <laughs> yes, the <laughs> oh my god, dude. He he bit the pole in the pole collapse. <laughs> dude, you can't even make that up. <laughs> like what I dude man This is the I'm just tripping that he tr- he used the monkey to try to get into a swingers club. Like, I, what did he say? That's all I'm trying to figure out. Like, what? Did... Exactly, man, dude, that's crazy. Exactly, that's crazy. That just sounds like I don't know. I don't know. And where was that at again? New just Jersey. so everybody out there can. New Jersey. New Jersey. Yes. Uh, yeah, that, that figures. We got 10 minutes to go, that people. Figures. 10 minutes to go. A few more stories, and we're going to recap it. In five minutes after last one, we recap it. Here we go. Illinois man arrested after attempting to burglarize homes to find, get this, unsticking instruments while naked with side pieces of mouth. Super glue says Johnson out the experiment with super glue went bad. After the super glue went bad. Yeah, the spirit went super glue went bad. They were trying to squeeze up with super glue in the girl's mouth with Johnson. The, 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 the moisture got a little bit. Fight through super, super glue, but it did not work. It stuck to his Johnson. Man. I'm getting the Tylenol, dude. <laughs> dude, this has been so long since I've you know, done a show where I had to, I, I, I had to grab the medicine, dude, like, <laughs> not since years ago, we were actually doing good, you know, you know what I'm saying, but this stuff is so far left, like, you, I don't, I don't know, if you were, why would you try to experiment with some doggone super glue, what was you trying to do? Exactly. I don't know, dude. That is crazy. And who is crazy enough to participate? Exactly. So now you, you so now you stuck chilling with a gang on your mouth. <laughs> man, oh man. So he just flopped top us until he can until he can maneuver his way out. She was however he's on this. Folks, the. It, the story was so bad that the live stream bust for Buffer, but as Hollywood was saying, why would you want somebody's super, super glue to your Johnson? Like, why would you think that some liquid nails, some super glue, and super glue don't be good at filling your Johnson? It almost her mouth is gonna stick this, stick, stick to your Johnson. That's a stupid as hell. <laughs> dude, that's the good dude. It just gets cra- it just gets crazier and crazier. Now I don't know. I, don't I just don't it. know what the bloody hell they were thinking. I don't know, brother. I'm not trying to figure it out. I don't know. And no. uh, I'll let seven minutes Hollywood. Uh, let's recap tonight's show. What is your take on uh tonight's show for your birthday? Reports, emails. Industry peeking in on us, innocent people. Just, what is your overall thoughts of tonight and, and where, where we're going with the, with the FBI report going for? No, I'm absolutely sick to my stomach. You know what I'm saying? And I guess uh, if I'm sick to my stomach, we did our job. You know, we bring you these FBI's. I'm absolutely, uh, I'm flabbergasted. Like, you know, we sift through pretty much uh, hundreds 
like Bossman sifts through hundreds of these emails and these stories and stuff per day. He sends them to me. He says, what do you think about this? And I say, you know, they're mad cat. You know what I mean? As per usual. But that's what we're supposed to bring to you. So that's what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to the craziest stories that you've ever heard, like I just like I said, you know, we can't make this stuff up. You understand? I would not even try. Period. Point blank. Because you FUIs out there are on another level of I'm crazy. I'm not. I'm not even trying to reach you. Like straight up, you know. And the good part about that, though, the upside is it keeps me entertained on the show because I'm just entertained by reading this goofiness. You know what I'm saying? And you FUIs out there are crazy enough to send us the emails. You know what I'm saying? We're going to read them and we're going to call on you. You understand? So that's just the way we do things. And I'm just, I was just honored to be a part of it uh, the day right before my birthday and bring it in with a super bang. But, you know, some of the stories that we read in the emails, they're just way over the top, man. Like, they're way from far left. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't like on, on the FUI show, on the Boss Man show, it doesn't get any better than that. The more goofy and crazy and sick they are, the better we're doing. You understand what I'm saying? So you all keep on sending the emails and, you know, uh, send us some stories. Or if you have seen any FUI activity in your neighborhood or wherever, it's, uh, whatever the case may be, you let us know and you send it to us. You know what I'm saying? And we might just read your story on the air or your FUI experience on the air. And I'm sure it's going to be just as crazy as the stories and the news that we read on the show. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm on another level. Like, right now, I'm just like, dude, some of those stories are just hard to believe. They are. And speaking about hard to believe, uh, what's your take on this um, story about the child, the teenager in Chicago? Her name is Kanika, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I've been seeing it on social media. It's like, it's like my Facebook feed is filled with Kanika stories. I'm like, I don't know what to believe anymore, but it's hard to believe me the chick is winning by herself right right it looks like well I, I know I've seen some videos where it looks like somebody grabbed it. but the thing is is nobody knows anything until the facts come out you know what I'm saying that's the bottom line nobody knows nothing until the facts come out they have a million different conspiracy theories a million different stories a million different videos angles you know you know what I'm saying and we're not getting any closer to the truth so, I don't know what they're going to do with that. You know what I'm saying? That's a pure DFUI story if I've ever heard it. Yeah, and you know the thing about videos, they can be doctored up. Well, yeah. They can be doctored up. Instagram can be doctored up. I mean, like, these people with Adobe uh, Photoshop can do a lot of wonders. Or Adobe Photoshop, oh. they can do one. So, understand that everything you see can is not real. And one thing I say about the FUI report it's not fake news. It's not, uh, yep. it's, it's not, uh, weapons of mass destruction that don't exist. These are real stories. And yeah, as Hollywood just brought told you, I spent yep. the last week literally going through stories every day. Yes. With medicine. Uh, I would say to you, I spent two or three hours a day trying to find stories for this report because that's how much I care about this show putting effort to put in time besides my sports responsibilities to make sure this is the best show I can make it yeah yeah so understand that I know I clown you all but I do do what I love and this is my favorite show I've said it before 
how it was with me since day one. And I respect for him. I make sure it's the best that he can do. He's a busy man with a lot of business he got going on. I don't want to make sure his time not being wasted. These two and a half hours he gives you, I want him to be the best within the hours of his quarter. He knows right. that I put in a good effort for him. I didn't give him some garbage to come to. That's right. He came That's to right. a well world and prepared machine for the show. As you see, with the preparedness we have, with the show rolls when it gets on here, you know it. That's why you all were lined up and live stream at 430 Central today. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We put in, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of research on the, on the part of Boss Man. You know what I'm saying? He brings the best news. You know what I'm saying? We look for the best news, uh, the crazy stuff that we can find. So we can deliver it to you and do this. You are going to do this quarter. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have a lot to tell you. We're going to have a lot more FUI material. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to make it a blast every time we make it a blast. So that's just what that is. You know what I'm saying? It's the FUI report, Boss Man in Hollywood, is doing big time. No doubt. So, folks, uh, we're going to get out of here in the live stream. Uh, what we're going to do is this. So, the shows will be posted for you to enjoy. I'll post them in segment form and in the whole form so you can enjoy the whole show straight through. When you're in segments, it'll be there for you to get BossmanRadioShow.com, BossmanShow.com, and all, all our apps. Okay? Also, look for us holiday special in December. We'll announce when it's going to happen. So don't blue that out for that. As we said, we'll be coming on for you quarterly. December, March, my birthday, summer kickoff in late June. We got Hollywood's birthday in September and holiday specials in the outro year with a holiday special. So, folks, we get we, you, we heard you. We heard your request for more of us. We gave it to you in the best way we can for our schedules involved. Industry, we, uh, Hollywood, we, 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 in, 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 industry person in the live stream, we're going to shut you down. No, you can't. Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> and they can't do it. You know, the, the, the good thing about that is they can't do anything about it, brother. <laughs> exactly. Nothing. Just sit there, get mad, grin, and bear it. That's right. Get oh, mad, he, grin, he, he says critique is coming soon, Hollywood. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> that we garbage that you sent out. Yeah, we already know we're getting, but, you know, it's all good. We're going to keep doing this our way. Dangerous language is coming. I know what's coming. Dangerous, dangerous. language. <laughs> How can your language be dangerous? You said something and I got a broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous language. Don't yeah, that mock out. us. You don't mock the industry. We mock you. Right. You understand? Don't mock us. We mock you. Right. Whatever. They don't know any better. Dangerous language. Hey, what, what is that? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> like if I speak, will a car crash? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Will a, will a bridge blow up? I mean, what is dangerous language? Will somebody get stabbed because I said whatever? Somebody get mugged on the train because I'm speaking? It's pretty dangerous. Hey. That's what y'all what get. Is. Screw yes, industry. whatever they want it to be. Hey, industry. We'll see you in December. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good day. See so, folks, <laughs> Hollywood, man, enjoy your birthday, man. It's been a blast as always. Thank you, brother. The happiest show I do is a show with you on our meeting.